Hey guys, what's going on? Lauren Plant here for another State Champs Scout Show. And we've got a very special guest on set this week. Of course, Matt Mowry, always a special guest when he joins us uh, to talk about what's happening in the world of recruiting. But we're focusing on girls basketball today and we have Lady Ballers insider Jason Wilkins with us. Jason, welcome to the show. Thanks for having me. How are you guys doing today? All right. We love the guys who are out there each and every year grinding. And if you follow girls basketball, girls high school basketball, whether it is uh, during high school season or in the AAU circuit, well, you certainly know all the work that Jason has been doing, uh, whether it's like rankings, his recruiting reports, uh, hosts a whole bunch of events like the Motor City Winter Classic and much more. Uh, first off, before we kind of get into uh, some of the hot prospects right now and who we're looking forward to seeing to play this season and where they may end up playing their college basketball, talk about how you got into this and what keeps you going. Um, I got into it when I started coaching uh, Denver Hearts Robichaud. I just took all my stuff I knew from the boy side and brought it to the girl side, and that was seven years ago. So now, mega scrimmage, which would be November 23rd at Celine High School, start out at six teams. It's now is up to 64 teams. Get a lot of college coaches coming, see the top talent. I start the best Michigan Holiday Classic. That'll be December 14th. We got all the top teams from Detroit Edison, Kalamazoo Central. Um, this year we got in Homewood Flowersmore. They got a top player named Grace Hall coming. So we got Wayne Memorial, which should be one of the top teams in the state, probably number one in Division One. They always be in attendance. They they really load us. So we just try to focus on getting the girls exposure in front of the best opportunity to play. Absolutely, and Matt, you know, I know that you know Jason well, and that you know, you know, you take a big passion in giving girls basketball the coverage uh, that we feel it deserves. Always kind of a state champs mission that we want to make sure that you know we love our football and we love our boys basketball, but that you know, there's a lot of sports that have a lot of great things happening, and he is a great resource and, and a great uh, advocate for the game. Right, and I know if I was going out to a weekend event and it's one of Jason's events, right. I'm going to be treated well. And I know if I'm in the same place as he is, I'm in the right place if that's where the top teams are going to be. And as he said, it's just getting exposure for the girls game, which is never, it's never been as high as it is for the boys game. And so there's a market there for that and people love to see it. And right now we're fired up because there is a tremendous amount of talent in state right now. Uh, obviously, we're coming off the Rakia Jackson era, uh, you know, one of the most uh, uh, high profile and, and, and excellent players that we've ever seen come out of the state of Michigan. But there are so many to talk about right now. Uh, who are some of the names that you would like to get out there right now and talk about uh, who are, are going to make a wave this year? Gabby Elliott, she made a wave with Rakia, averaging 20 plus a game, top rate recruit. Now Rakia gone, her, rock, her number's going to skyrocket. Athletic wing to shoot the three, scoring transition, and her game's only going to get better with Rakia gone because she's going to be able to showcase what she can do overall. That team, again, young too. So much talent, and I'm sure there's going to be freshmen that now will come into the fold that will knock their socks off, you know, right off the bat. Uh, Gabby Elliott, you know, from watching her play the, gr you know, the, more of a grinder for sure than Ricky was so smooth and polished. Uh, you know, again, you talk about, you, she was overshadowed just because of Rakia's greatness, but she is one that uh, is, uh, is really going to shock me if she is not the favorite or if she is not at the end of the season holding up the Miss Basketball Trophy, both from Detroit Edison. Yeah, and it's, it, it, as you said, it, Rakia had an edge to her at times too, yes. but Gabby certainly does. I mean, she plays with an edge. She plays with a ferocity sometimes where you know that she wants to beat you and she wants to beat you badly. It, it, like you said, she did play a little bit of second fiddle over the last couple of years to to uh, Rakia, but it, this is going to be her team now. And that's still a very, very, very talented squad with her and Shalana Wagner. And it's 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 a deep squad that, as you said, that, that group of freshmen from last year that are now sophomores and then probably Probably the next group of freshmen coming in. That's that's a talented group. So I mean, I can't bet against them repeating and probably repeating with the Miss Basketball as well. Jason Wilkins here with Lady Ballers Insider. And Jason, uh, has Gabby committed? No, Gabby has not committed. Um, I, I hear she has taken a couple of visits to Minnesota, Clemson, a couple more schools. So she got some. She got. She got. A, she got some good choices. 
I'll tell you a school that's been coming in state hitting us hard, and that is the University of Illinois. Yeah, El Illinois has done a great job recruiting Michigan. Um, Coach Kirkland is from the Flint area. She's a recruiting coordinator at Illinois. Um, she got a big time pickup in Janae Terry last year, a top 100 kid nationally at Layway Memorial to two out of four appearances. He's going to do good things. Then she pinned it up right now with Aaliyah McQueen from Flint Cover Nansworth and Aaliyah Nye. Both players fit what they do. Um, McQueen, is a tough, hard-nosed guard that can complement Terry playing both defense. And Nye is just a long, lanky shooter that can also defend. She's very underrated to me. I thought she was one of the top players in the country. That should have had more BCS offers. That's my opinion. But mm -hmm. Illinois did their job and know what she can do. Um, she has been a force since her sophomore year at East Lansing. You know, she just do everything that people don't see in the stat sheet. But she always end up with 20 points and like nine rebounds. In that, that state finals game when East Lansing played uh, Heritage and Heritage managed to kind of stifle East Lansing, she was the one player that they still could not stop and that, that Heritage defense was, was known to be stifling and okay. yeah, Ellie and I has been, like, like Jason said, since her sophomore year, she's been a force to be reckoned with. Absolutely. Uh, one of the names that Matt and I bannered about uh, last year was Whitney Solemn at uh, Heartland. Uh, we got to see her play. She was coming off injuries. Uh, she, by the time playoffs come around, she was, you know, back really in the form. What, what impresses you about her game? Whitney's just been Whitney since I seen her first in eighth grade. She has gotten so much better. She got stronger. She can score around the basket, um, take it off the dribble. But people don't know she can shoot the three, so she can play facing the basket around the basket, and versatile, pick and pop. Michigan is getting a great player. Yeah. Uh, I think she can actually be a program changer. Mm. Good in-state kid, nationally ranked also, that stay home. And it's, I think it's gonna lure more recruits to stay home because they see, okay, she went to Michigan, I can go to Michigan. So we can make some happen, but this is a big time recruit for Coach Kimariko Barnes. She's long and lanky, and she can do so many things. She's not just a back to the basket, you know, six foot four player. She can handle the ball. She can, as Jason said, she can shoot surprisingly well from outside for someone of her size, and, and she's going to be a huge pickup for them. And she's got a sister who's still got a few more seasons that will be shooting it up for the Hartley Eagles as well. So uh, you'll be seeing two out there, and she'll be only getting better. And she is. We saw her progress throughout the season. Uh, Elise Stuck from Charlevoix, your thoughts? Elise Stuck is, is a sleeper. She got, she got hurt her junior year to her ACL, so she didn't play. She come back, had a great travel ball season. 6'1", um, can shoot it really well. She's going to compliment what Michigan does. In-state people know her. Um, it's going to be a really good, good pickup for Wolverines. She's a very good kid. Um, said big, can probably play both wing positions, can defend a four if possible. You know, it's a good pickup. Wolverine's got two good ones coming in. Yeah, definitely. And I think she ended up, didn't she run cross country right off the bat? She had never done that before. But that was kind of how she rehabbed coming back from that okay. knee injury. So she ran cross country and she's a, she strikes me as one of those kids. Yeah, that can, that probably could play any sport they want to play. But yeah, she's, she's definitely a hooper. All right, two more we want to hit before we get out of here. And you mentioned her already and that is Shalana Wagner. Uh, from Detroit Edison. Uh, talk about, I know that she recently committed to Xavier. Uh, talk about uh, her game and what you love. Man, I love Wagner. Wagner is the toughest player in the state. She's 5'10", small forward. She is the glue to Edison team. You, you, she don't score a lot of points, but you're gonna, she's going to get rebounds. She's always going to defend the toughest player. Um, she's a great team player and a great leader. Xavier getting a good one. Um, new head coach, Melanie Moore, was at Michigan, knew her very well. And this was a must get for them. They, they put a priority to her and they got it done. And uh, how about uh, Dakota's Cam Grant? Graham Grant is going to shock. That's, she's going to do very well in the, in the, at Ball State. 6'1", six, 6'2", six, can handle, can shoot the three, can also play back to the basket. Can, is very versatile. Ball State got a good one. Yeah, Dakota ran her at the point last year at 6-1 a lot of the time, and, and she, she can. She can handle the ball legitimately. So as we kind of get out of here uh, and we are talking with Jason Wilkins from Lady Baller Insider, uh, your just kind of quick, I know it's early, but your quick thoughts about the top teams that you are expecting to really make a run this season in, in girls basketball. This year, the top teams overall, Wayne Memorial is going to be Division One. That's going to be my pick to win it. Um, Coach Jarvis Mitchell has done a fabulous job.
from being there. He's on his fifth year going 0 and 20. He has really turned our program around. They've been uh, so close. Too. They've been close, and I think they always say three, third year's a charm. Right. This is gonna be Jarvis Mitchell's year to win it. Um, Renaissance gonna be there. Um, they have, have a new coach, but they return all starters, the starters, sophomore, now they all juniors. They're gonna be pretty good. Um, I like East Kenwood from the west side of the state. And I also, I also like East Lansing. They've been there two years in a row. Mm -hmm. Coach Ross Smith does a great job with those kids, and they got a lead nice and Ida Gregory. They're going to be really good. Division two, Edison with Gabby Elliott, Demaya Hageman, top 20 point guard in the country, Ruby Ryhorn, top 25 kid, Najee ESPN. So Edison should be the favorite again to win Division two. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, I see. Yeah. Well, it's, it's always great because I think we are going to have sleepers that c come in because a lot of, you know, uh, I notice in, in girls basketball a lot of times as players hit that junior, that senior campaign, they really bloom, can really carry a squad. So we're going to have teams we talk about and uh, we would definitely love to have you back uh, to talk about it. How can people uh, follow everything that you have going on and uh, find out about all the events that you'll be having? You know, go to our website at www.lbnsr.com. You can also follow me on Twitter at LB Insider. Okay, LB Insider, you need to remember it. He is Jason Wilkins, of course, Matt Mowry here. And this has been another State Champs Scout Show. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll talk more girls basketball here in the near future.